Hello, world, Civ um, 106. I am really excited to teach this class, especially, um, I think, this uh, class in particular, um, out of the three that I'm teaching this semester, is really going to ser be served well with um, how my life is operating right now, which I'll explain in a second. So, um, Later, I'll talk more about the specific context of, of the class and, and some other announcements. Sorry, I'm out of park. There's, a little, there's some loud noises going on. I don't know if you can hear it. But um, uh, <clears throat> this Friday, I will be, I have a one-way ticket to Iceland. And um, I have a one-way ticket to Denmark a week later. I'll be starting this class in Copenhagen. And then I'll end up in Sweden. I'm not sure what other European countries I'm going to build a Ford or have time to be in. And then I'm eventually going to be in Thailand, and I will probably be teaching most of this semester in Thailand. Um, I'm not 100% sure yet, though, That's but that looks to be the case. Um, and what I want to do, my, my goal, is to integrate my traveling and what I'm doing into this class to help uh, complement um, the information that uh, you're getting with the experiences that I'm having and maybe even show you some of the things behind me. Um, so, I mean, as it is right now, I'm at a park in Portland, which is full of smoke, by the way, from forest fires because, you know, the whole world's on fire right now, by the way. Okay, for real. Even Sweden's got massive forest fires. and I mean, my eyes are burning. It's terrible up here in Portland. So I'm in Portland, Oregon. I taught at MJC face-to-face -face for years. I was born and raised in Modesto. I went to MJC as a student before I transferred to UC Santa Cruz. And then I got my master's degree at uh, Stan State. That's just what worked out at the time. Um, but uh, in any case, so I'm up here and I am doing some world travel and I'm integrating my online classes into world travel. So I, I'm, I'm excited about that. Yeah, just students online. <laughs> it's good to see you. So I just got a friendly uh, conversation with a gentleman and his dog uh, uh, walking in the park. That was kind of funny distraction. Um, and then uh, uh, waving at a, at a park ranger um, or, or a city worker anyways. I hadn't had as many distractions in, a, in one of these little announcements before. Anyhow. Um, they're nice distractions, by the way. Um, okay, in any case, um, I'm going to integrate this uh, into uh, our, our classes. Now, here's what I, I also just need to clarify. Thailand is not a democracy right now. And meaning the freedom of... Um, I'm just not sure right now, like how much they want. Like, I might have to be more discreet about certain things or not talk about certain things while I'm in Thailand. And so I just want to give you a heads up on that because you'll see how freely I talk about a lot of subjects and I want critical thinking to happen. But I got to watch myself and make sure that wherever I'm traveling, if I'm in Southeast Asia and there's a little different set of circumstances there, that I watch myself, right? And um, yeah. So I just want to make that clear. Now, um, it'll be fun integrating um, uh, Buddhism. Um, certainly, uh, uh, I'll be in a Buddhist majority country, and um, that'll be interesting. I might even try to actually go into the Muslim part of Thailand, which, by the way, there is. Uh, uh, when we talk about Islam, that that could be a fun thing. If, <laughs> but I got to make sure everything is legit, like how I'm doing stuff, right? Like so. I'm just giving you an idea, like, uh, these are the kind of things I'm going to try to do with the class. If, if for whatever reason I end up um, not responding right away or something, don't worry, I might have just had some bad food really quick. <laughs> um, uh, but I'm, I, I don't know. Anyways, we'll, we'll see how, how well this adventure goes. But I, I think it should be exciting for all of us. That's what I want to do. Um, so we're going to be talking mainly about world religion as a theme in this world history class. Okay? So this is what's important. And... Uh, this class is, I've been teaching the longest. Um, it was my first class that I taught at MJC. And I really have a, a strong background in it. You'll be covering a lot of information. And the, I'll do another announcement to talk later about 
just how to navigate the class like in, and, and all that kind of stuff. But just to say this, you're not going to be indoctrinated with trying to believe in world religions. I, I, what I realize is that when you teach world, uh, world Civ class, there are so many different civilizations we're covering and the information's overwhelming. And so I thought, what could I focus on that would be the easiest for students to like memorize something or, or to, to, to be able to engage with? And the topic of religion, I mean, whether you're an atheist or you're very religious in a particular type of uh, particular religion, you have a strong opinion about it. And as long as you have a strong opinion about it, you're engaged meant intellectually, right, with what you're being exposed to in some way or repulsed, but, but you're engaged, but you're, 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 you're going to have some thoughts. So I thought, okay, this is a good thing to do. And um, one of the things that I will be trying to emphasize is I don't want anybody to be misled about something. Look, um, when 9-11 happened, a lot of people went to go buy the Quran and they were trying to figure out, well, what's going on with Islam? If you think that reading the Quran is going to help you understand 9-11, I, I think that you're going to be, uh, it's not going to help you. If you think that studying the holy books is going to help you understand the Israel-Palestine conflict, um, it'll help on some things, but actually it won't help as much as you would think it would, which that's another topic. Right now, I'm going to be going to a Buddhist nation, they have a military, they eat meat, they have a very thriving sex industry. When you read Buddhist text, Buddhism is about restraint, peace, vegetarianism is the main part, right? So, you know, you, when you read the text of different religious traditions and you're studying religion, you're getting a certain ideals from a certain group of people and they don't always 100% correlate with what's going on on the outside. And that's the tricky part too that I want to like kind of like get you aware of. Because if you can understand that, you'll become much more sophisticated uh, in, in, in seeing the complexities of how to understand history in the past and even like currently like what to make of, of, of different civilizations and their ideals and what they actually do and how complex it means to be like, I'm, well, this person's a real blah, 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 dot, 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 you know, like, okay. So what I hope is that you come out of this class, regardless of your worldview, in a much more sophisticated, having a much more sophisticated approach to understanding the world, like where we've gone, been, uh, wh uh, where we're going, where we're at, okay. Um, so I have a, a, a very passionate uh, set of feelings about all of this. Um, and uh, I think you'll enjoy it. Um, and so um, that's all I'll say for now. I'm not going to have my phone working, of course. I'm going to be in a different time zone. But uh, like I said, contact me through Canvas. I'll, I'll try to see what other alternative forms of information, uh, I mean uh, technology uh, of communication that we can use. And uh, if you have any quick questions, you can try to hit me up. I'm busy right now. I'm going to be busy in Iceland, but I'm going to check my email uh, and, and Canvas messages as much as possible and try to do some keep in communication. And um, I'll just end it there. I uh, hope you guys are ready to have a great class, and I'm looking forward to it.